We'll uh, proceed with our next agenda item, and that would be a recommendation from the Selection Committee to appoint F. King Alexander as President of the LSU System and Chancellor of LSU A&M. Um, I'd, I'd like to call on Blake Shotlane, uh, Chairman of our Search Committee, to uh, offer his report. Last week, the Search Committee nominated F. King Alexander as our candidate for President. Uh, since that time, Dr. Alexander has made himself available uh, to students, to faculty members, to administrators, uh, and to various constituents. He has uh, worked uh, from daylight to dark when he is in town meeting with those groups. I think this is the third trip that he has made to Louisiana in the past two weeks, and it's a pretty long commute from California. So we appreciate uh, the time that he has invested <laughs> in to make himself available. I will tell you that the feedback that we have received from those meetings has been very, very positive, and there is much excitement about our candidate. Uh, as I have stated, uh, the committee feels that Dr. Alexander has a deep understanding of higher education. He appreciates its history, uh, but he also has a firm grasp of the future, and we believe that he stands ready to lead LSU boldly into that future. Uh, this search committee is very pleased, excited, and very optimistic to reaffirm its recommendation that Dr. Alexander be appointed as the next president of LSU. And just so that we're clear in terms of uh, what we're doing here, I would like to read the resolution that comes forth uh, from the search committee. Uh, and that reads, whereas on March 18th, uh, 2013, the Presidential Search Committee unanimously recommended F. King Alexander to be president of Louisiana State University. Uh, whereas Dr. Alexander was then invited to Baton Rouge where he, where he participated in a series of events in which board members, faculty, administrators, students, staff, business and political leaders, and others had the opportunity to, to interact with Dr. Alexander. Whereas the LSU Board of Supervisors finds that Dr. Alexander possesses the educational, professional experience, and personal characteristics to become an outstanding leader for the LSU institutions. Now, therefore, be it resolved that F. King Alexander is appointed as president of the LSU system and chancellor of LSU A&M College, which positions will be combined under the title of president of LSU State University upon LSU's compliance with accreditation standards necessary to effectuate such change. Dr. Alexander will assume the responsibilities of his office on or before July 1st, 2013. The other terms of his appointments will be negotiated and submitted to the board for approval at a subsequent meeting. I would enter that motion coming from our search committee. We have a motion. Second. We have a second. Um, any questions or discussion regarding the uh, motion that's before the board? No further questions or discussions, I'll call for the question. All in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 <clears throat> Any opposition? Thank you. That uh, is, a, uh, please note, that's a unanimous vote. <clears throat> Welcome, Dr. Alexander. You have uh, just officially been appointed uh, a president of the um, of LSU, congratulations, and uh, we'll ask you if uh, you'd like to make a few comments. Yes, I would. Thank you, Chair Danos, and thank you, Board of Supervisors. Uh, this is indeed a wonderful honor, and I'd like to thank our board members. I'd like to thank the faculty, staff of this great university, but the people of the state of Louisiana, because ultimately, the true beneficiaries of a great LSU are going to be the people and the citizens of the state of Louisiana. And I can't think of a better opportunity to, to, to push forth is to take this great university on its great <coughs> foundation and to work with our faculty and to work with our staff and our students throughout the state and our alumni, our friends, and to work with government officials to make sure that we've got the strongest LSU possible in the decades to come. So I, it is a great honor for me to sit in front of you today. It's a great honor to come back to the South, to be here in Louisiana. Uh, I've got family all over the South, and it, it, I am pleased and humbled by your faith in me and your confidence in me. And I look forward to working with you closely to build these bonds, to build these bridges, but to build LSU to the best capability possible, but to also to benefit every single citizen that's in this state and every, every person that lives within the state of Louisiana. So thank you very, very much. And I look forward to also working with my many colleagues that are here 
Uh, this truly is a team effort. It's a team effort at a very d difficult and challenging time in American higher education, but it's also it's a time that gives me a great degree of optimism that we have leaders like you and leaders like we do in the state of Louisiana that we can forge for forth and tackle these big challenges that lie ahead of us. So thank you very, very much for your confidence in me and your faith in me, and I look forward to working with each of you to build this great university and to build the state together. Thank you very much.